Everyone, this is Brad. Let's say at the end of a lesson or you're at the end of a meeting and you want to poll your participants or your students, check out strawpoll.com. You do not need to create a sign-up. Of course, you can, which will store your results. However, you can just come right down in here and select Create a Poll. Then you can see where you can put in your title, your poll type, which is a multiple choice meeting poll, image poll, or ranking poll. And then you can paste your answers. You can see how you could add other options here. You can even go in and check out your settings as well as advanced settings. Now, just to show you, I created one right in here. How confident do you feel in explaining the stages of the water cycle to a friend? I made it multiple choice and you can see the options. Now to go ahead and share that, what you need to do is scroll down to the bottom and look for the blue create poll. Once you select create poll, you can go ahead and you can share by selecting the share icon. Right here you can see your different options. Of course, I'm gonna share this uh, with the link. So I'd paste it into Google Classroom or wherever it may be. But you can also see right in here, you could create a QR code. You can see there I created one. You could also go ahead, if you'd like to create a pin code and you're going to generate a pin. Now, when you do that, you can see right in here, if they, if you're going to use StrawPoll a lot, I'd rececommend this because they can just log into StrawPoll.live and then enter in the pin. So all I'm going to do though, is just come up and show you what it looks like. All right, so let's just say I'm a student and I feel somewhat comfortable about explaining the stages of the water cycle. I'm going to go ahead and vote. I can see the results that come through. And then as the creator, I can come back and show results right there. So there you go. If you do have any questions, uh, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.